Hi guys, um, so it's Wendy Harrison here, and, um, I'm just going to be, it was a, um, a question that I got over email, and it's how do I put this in, and if you don't know what this is, this is a reptile carpet, you put it in your leopard gecko tank, so yeah, I will show you how I do that. Okay, so this is my leopard gecko tank, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your gecko out. Mine's in there. acting very skittish right now as you can see I don't know why oh my goodness she never acts like this so I don't understand So now that we have her out, you just want to put your leopard gecko in a container. I recommend grabbing a hide and putting it in there so they have somewhere to hide. Now I'm going to put the screen top over this to make sure she can't crawl out. Okay. Moving on. Okay, so now we have everything out of the tank. Things out besides the thermometer and her lamps, but everything's out, including her. And I just put the light on just for the time being because it's not going to take long, and just to keep it warm in there for her. I know that's probably a bad idea, but you know it's only a one-time thing. Okay, so now you're going to grab your reptile carpet, and you're just going to lay it down, and you're just going to lay it down like a blanket. Okay, so now you're going to have some hills, okay? So what you're going to do is you're just going to flatten it down, bring it to the corner, and pop the corner up. So flatten it down, bring it to the corner, and pop the corner up. I can do the same on this side. Gonna lay it flat, bring it to the corner. Lay it flat and bring it to the corner. So now you can see there's no hills. Except for of course the corner. But you can but when you tuck it in, that's what happens. So you wanna flip up the corner. And there's no way your leopard gecko is gonna get down there. So now everything's nice and flat. And that's as simple as it is. So I hope this helped you guys. So yeah, bye guys.